In this video, let's work on finding everything. So we are asked to find equilibrium price, which is P bar, consumer surplus, producer surplus, and total social gain, which is also sometimes called total surplus. So you can pause right now to review formulas, but basically you need to remember that we have two formulas, consumer surplus, which is the integral. You have first demand equation minus P, from zero to Q bar and producer surplus, which is P minus um, supply equation. And that's the main important difference. Here is the picture how these two are related. And then when you add them together, it gives you total surplus, which is sometimes called total social gain. Example, a study of the country's college universities resulted in a demand equation. So the first one is D. This is D of Q, which we need to rewrite in the way we need to have it. It should be looking like P equals blah, blah, blah. Q is an enrol enrollment at the public college or university, and P is the average annual tuition in charges. It charges. Officials at the university have developed a policy with a number of students uh, it will accept per year at the tuition level of P dollars is given by. That is a supply equation. And again, we need to rewrite it in the way it looks like P equals blah, blah, blah. Find everything. So let's first start with finding the equations because we don't have them. Solution. I want to have D at uh, of Q and S at Q to put them later in the intervals for consumer surplus and producer surplus. That means I'll rewrite Q 20,000 minus 2P and to solve, so let me do it right now, I need to solve for P. Solve for P. Well, let's isolate. Minus 2P. Minus 2P will be Q minus 20,000. Divide by minus 2P equals Q over minus 2 plus 10,000. Like so. This will be my demand equation. We're going to put it in the first integral. So let's put a bullet. And then one more bullet. Let's find the supply equation. Same way. The second equation was given as Q equals 5600 plus 0.5P. That means 0.5P equals Q minus 56. 5,600. Let's divide by 0 0.5, but that means multiply by 2, right? Dividing by half means multiplying by 2. So P will be 2 cubed minus, what is it? 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, right? 11,200. Let me put zeros closer. Looks correct to me. So now we have these two equations. Step one is done. Let me put it in blue. Step one. Step two, let's find P bar. P bar comes from this kind of very nice explanation. So this is Q bar. Because this is quantity axis and then price is here. Q bar goes up, finds its points of intersection, goes to the left and gives you P bar. We need to find this P bar. But this is a point of intersection of two curves, supply equation and demand equation. So we just need to set those two equations equal to each other and solve them. And you could do it with the original ones. You could just solve Q equals Q equals, or now you can do P equals and P equals. Let, let me put this also in the box. The answer will be the same. So this is a point of intersection, point of intersection of the, of the, of the demand equation and supply equation. 
like so. In any way it's written. So let's do that. Remember, we need both P bar and Q bar. P bar will be in this formula, right? And then Q bar will be needed for the upper limit of integration. So it doesn't really matter how you find it, just find both. So I will do like this, P equals, you can actually do the original ones if you want. If you think it's easier, why not? Let's do the original one. Q equals 20, 0, 0, 0 minus 2P. Q equals 5, 6, 0, 0 plus 0 0.5P. The system, left-hand sides are equal, that means right-hand sides are equal to 20 thousandths minus 2p equal to 5600 plus 0 0.5p. Collect p's together, minus 2p and minus 0.5p equals 5600 minus 20,000 minus 2.5p equals whatever that number is let me calculate really quickly so it is apparently minus one four four zero zero divide by negative two point five gives you a positive price if you got negative price you messed up and the positive price becomes minus one four four zero zero over minus two point five which is $5,760. This is going to be P bar. Now you can find Q bar. So step three, find Q bar just the way we always did it. Plug the given, <coughs> well, it was not given this time. We found P bar into any equation. Plug into any equation it will should give you the same number so for example which one do you like more let's have the one with let's have the first one doesn't matter to be honest q bar equals 20 0, 0, 0, minus 2 times 5 7 60 which is 1 which is eight four eighty. This is what going to go to the upper limit of integration. Finally, we start now. We have everything we had in the previous problems. I did already two videos how to find consumer surplus and producer surplus. So we're gonna do that again. Find P S and C S in whatever order you want. I like starting with CS actually because CS is the cool guy uh, that has function minus P. So let's do that first. I remember the formula. The formula is from 0 to Q bar and then I have a function so it's demand equation minus P dQ while uh, producer surplus has P minus the function, uh, which is supply equation. So let's do that from 0 to 8, 4, 8, 0. Correct? Yes. The demand equation we found before, where is it? Demand equation looks like this. Q over minus 2 plus 10 thousands. Q over minus 2 plus 10 thousands minus P. And this is not just P, this is a P bar. So, which is 5760 dQ. Simplify and integrate. So I'm going to have from integral from 0 to 8480. Q over minus 2 plus what is this number? Let me think. 4, 2, 4, 0, right? I think so. Looks correct. 
integrate it will be q squared over 2 but it also was divided by negative 2 remember so minus 2 times 2 will give you minus 4 in the denominator plus 4 to 40 bar from 0 8 4 80 equals let's do this 8 4 80 squared over minus 4 plus 4 to 40 and then don't forget minus 0 and 0 always check that in case you have exponential functions or something like that it's not always 0 so uh, I got the correct answer but uh, missed a little thing did you guys notice q squared over 2 was correct and when I was explaining this part I forgot that it also should be plus 4 to 40 q because we're integrating the constant so when I plug this q which is okay that's not q anymore that is 8 4 80 minus 0 then I get the correct answer which is one seven nine seven seven six zero zero this will be consumer surplus now let's move on to the step five step five find producer surplus and then we're gonna add these two together this one has a different formula if you remember so we had this formula here now we're going to have integral from 0 to q bar p bar minus the supply equation which we found dq this is the formula let's carefully create the integral from 0 to 8 4 80 p bar is the same number we found 5 7 60 5 7 60 minus put huge parentheses not to mess up find your supply equation supply equation was here this is supply equation when we solved for p the supply equation 2q minus 1 1 200 2q minus 1 1 200 dq simplify integrate 0 8 4 80 now we're going to have minus 2q plus because minus minus gives you plus be careful with this i can do it let me think 1 6 9 60 dq yeah so if you sleep enough i think uh, it's doable to do it without calculator 7 plus 2 is 9 5 plus 1 is 6. Looks good. Integrate both. Minus 2 q squared over 2 cancels, cancels out. Plus 1, 6, 9, 60 bar from 0 to 84, 80. Which is going to be minus... Oh, you see, I lost q again. So what the heck? q. So q squared over 2 and q. Now it's going to be minus 8, 4, 80 squared plus 1, 6, 9, 6, 0, 8, 4, 80, and minus huge fat 0 equals 2, 7, 1, 9, 10, 400. This is, which one was it? The producer surplus. Finally, the last step, you add them all together to get total social gain. Total surplus. Surplus. Or they sometimes called total social gain. That is... CS plus PS, CS plus PS, which is bum, bum, bum. so I see in front of me one, seven one nine ten four hundred. So I'm gonna gonna put this one here. And the previous one I have it actually in my notes. 
one seven nine seven seven six hundred check if that is correct or not and the answer is eighty nine eight 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 zero 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 finally so we have four answers actually I would say we found five different things let's see what we found in five steps we found five different things step one was preparation in step one we found uh, solved for p to get the beautiful looking demand and supply equation but then in step two we found p bar in step three we found q bar by plugging p bar in any of the equation in step four we found consumer surplus function minus p bar inside of the integral step five produces surplus p minus the function inside of the integral and finally we add them up together to get the final answer which called the total social gain that is what we wanted to find good job for watching keep practicing and i hope you are getting better with these problems